Dear friends, it is a great joy to welcome you to this virtual investiture service. Due to the current and necessary social distancing measures, we are sadly unable to physically worship together and recognize recipients of awards and accolades as we would normally. However, determined that we might still observe this important celebration in the life of our Priory and St. John Ambulance Cymru, this virtual investiture has been produced remotely and I am speaking to you from our Order Chapel in our Priory Church of St. John the Baptist in the heart of Cardiff. We have come together in this way to give thanks for the work of the Order of St. John, especially here in Wales, and to seek God's continuing guidance and blessing upon our future work. The Order of St. John was founded over a thousand years ago upon the principle that its members should treat every person of any faith or no faith, be they rich or poor, young or old, male or female, as Jesus would treat them, as they would treat Jesus and as they would wish others to treat them. No one in any kind of need is to be rejected. The order is both Christian and inclusive and all who accept its founding principle may be welcomed into membership. Today we will celebrate that principle and conscious of all that our order represents and seeks to accomplish and mindful of the faithful and courageous example of St. John the Baptist, its patron saint, let us pray together for our future. Lord God, our order's outward symbols of loyalty, honour and devotion remind us of our duty to willingly and courageously serve the needs of others. Faithful to the teaching and example of our patron, St. John the Baptist, may we have wisdom to reject all that is selfish and sinful, conviction constantly to speak the truth, courage boldly to rebuke vice, and patience to suffer in the cause of all that is good and just. We make our prayer through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Gospel according to St. Luke. Chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. Just then a lawyer stood up to test Jesus. Teacher, he said, what must I do to inherit eternal life? He said to him, what is written in the law? What do you read there? He answered, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your strength and with all your mind and your neighbor as yourself. And he said to him, you have given the right answer. Do this and you will live. But wanted to justify himself, he asked Jesus, and who is my neighbor? Jesus replied, the man was going down from Jerusalem to Jericho and fell into the hands of robbers who stripped him, beat him, and went away, leaving him half dead. Now by chance, a priest was going down that road and when he saw him, he passed by on the other side. Likewise, a Levite, when he came to the place and saw him, passed by on the other side. A Samaritan, while traveling, came near, and when he saw him, he was moved with pity, and went to him and bandaged his wounds, having poured oil and wine on them. Then he put him on his own animal and brought him to an inn and took care of him. The next day he took out two denarii and gave them to the innkeeper and said, take care of him and when I come back, I'll repay you whatever more you spend. Which of these three do you think was a neighbor to the man who fell into the hands of the robbers, he said. The one who showed mercy. Jesus said to him, go and do likewise. For the word of the Lord 
Thanks be to God. Hello there, and it's a wonderful opportunity to be able to speak to you, if not face to face, through the miracles of modern technology. The occasion that we are marking would normally take place in the cathedral in Llandaff, in front of a huge congregation and with lots of very spectacular ceremony. Because of current circumstances, we're not able to do that. So I'm speaking to you from my own cathedral here in, in, in Brecon. The ceremony that we are part of, even today, is an important recognition of a huge amount of hard work which so many of you volunteers undertake in the name of and on behalf of the Order of St John here in Wales, St John Cymru. The Order is a wonderful means through which people can offer their time, their talents and frankly their love to help other people who are in need. And you and they do that in countless circumstances, in countless places and over countless weeks and hours over the period of the years. Those of you today being admitted to different orders within St John, to you I offer my warmest congratulations and my thanks for everything that you have done. What you do, what the order stands for, is a reminder that anybody in need is our neighbour. Anybody in need has the right as well as the opportunity to receive the help of others. That's something which is completely a consonant with the teachings of the Lord Jesus. And the Order of St. John is based upon very firm Christian principles that we don't distinguish anybody who is in need, regardless of their religion, their race, their ethnicity, anybody in need, we will help. So for all that you've done, well done. For all that you've achieved, my warmest, Congratulations. Be the hands, the heart, and the eyes of Jesus in the world as he commands us to be. And God bless you in everything that you do within the order for others into the future. Members to be admitted are promoted within the order of the Pry for Wales. Promotion to Commander. Dr. Akram Beg, Headquarters. Mrs. Carol Ann Bernardo, West Glamorgan. Kenneth John Burton, David. Miss Sheila Lloyd Jones, MBE, Headquarters. Mrs. Annette Macken, Paris. Mrs. Margaret Eleanor Merrills, West Glamorgan. The Reverend David Thomas Morris, Headquarters. Dr. Timothy McVeigh, Paris. George Clive Royal, Headquarters. Richard Thomas, Cardiff and the Vale. Promotion to Officer. David Baldwin, Gwent. Mrs. Heather Baldwin, Gwent. Sean Brees, Powers. Mrs. Julie Theresa Carrad, Powers. Robert Knappman, David. Miss Janice Margaret Lewis. Mid Glamorgan. Miss Tara Smith, Mid Glamorgan. Mrs. Kimberly Tyson, Mid Glamorgan. Admission as Officer. Mrs. Shireen Williams, MBE, Headquarters. Admission as Member. Mrs. Jane Elizabeth Clayton, DL, West Glamorgan. Ian George Davy, Headquarters. Gareth Hitchings, Mid Glamorgan. Nicholas Randall Clive Hoyle, Gwent. Mrs. Catherine Rose Hughes, West Glamorgan. Ms. Laura Jane Hughes, Headquarters. Dr. Philip Clower, David. Mrs. Jacqueline Morris, West Glamorgan. Mrs. Cynthia Jane McVeigh, Powers. Samuel Charles Smith, Headquarters. David Garrett Sullivan, Mid Glamorgan. Granville David Thomas, Headquarters. Roger John Vickers, 
West Glamorgan. To write Hugh Owen Walker, West Glamorgan. Mrs. Wendy Mary Williams, West Glamorgan. Youth Awards Super Badger Award The Super Badger Award is a culmination of over three years' work in which our youngest age group undertake training in 12 subjects, ranging from care and first aid to communications. It is the highest accolade a badger can achieve and is recognition for their hard work and dedication. <laughs> Emily Bates, Cardiff and the Vale. Sophia Brandon Higgs, Paris. Xander Brandon Higgs, Paris. Will Criddle, Cardiff and the Vale. Carrie Ann Davis, Paris. Annabelle Ely Fitzgerald, Paris. Charlotte Ely Fitzgerald, Paris. Tegan Fiddler, West Glamorgan. Millie Griffiths, North Wales. Owen Herbert, Gwent. Ishan Hirani, Cardiff and the Vale. Mena James, Gwent. Ewan Jones, Paris. Roxy Mary Jones, Paris. Chloe Lewis, Mid Glamorgan. Reese Liverick, Gwent. Mally Price, North Wales. Reese Rogers, David. Grand Prior Awards. The Grand Prior Award is a culmination of at least three years' work in which our cadets undertake 24 subjects from a comprehensive development program. These range from canoeing to computer skills, with a strong emphasis on carrying out work in the community. This is a highly respected accolade. Karis Bartlett, Gwent. Joel Bayliss, Gwent. Anna Brown, Gwent. Callum Davis, North Wales. Jessica Davis, Gwent. Olivia Davis, Gwent. Maisie Evans, Gwent. Demi Flower, Gwent. Jared Flower, Gwent. Reese Griffiths, Gwent. Dylan Hall, North Wales. Bethan Hay, Mid Glamorgan. Eliza Hazel, West Glamorgan. Nia Halder, Gwent. Cara Layton, North Wales. Megan Maddox, Brexham. Francis Millijohn, West Glamorgan. Katie Phillips, Mid Glamorgan. Alex Rhodes, North Wales. Lizzie Robertson, North Wales. Abby Sadler, Gwent. Lee Selden, Cardiff and the Vale. Georgina Seller, North Wales. Rhiannon Svensson, Mid Glamorgan. Brittany Whitcomb, Gwent.
in faith and trust, let us pray to the Lord, Wethiun Ararar Gloid. Father, we pray for Elizabeth, our Queen and Sovereign Head of the Order of St. John, Richard, Duke of Gloucester, Grand Prior of our Order, Birgit, Duchess of Gloucester, our Commandant-in-Chief, Mark, Lord Prior of the Order, and Paul, Prior of this Priory. We ask that your word may inspire all who lead, guide, and manage the activities of the Order throughout the world, and especially here in Wales. May all who participate in the life of our Priory work together with faith and vision, skill and energy, faithful to your purpose and continuing to further our vision of one St John. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, your Son Jesus Christ healed the sick, gave sight to the blind and brought the wholeness of life to others. We rejoice in the work of the St John Eye Hospital in Jerusalem and especially in the skill and the faithfulness of its staff. May it continue to be a centre of light and healing in the midst of suffering and adversity. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us pray. Father, we pray for those who suffer because of sickness, sorrow, natural disaster, abuse, neglect, poverty, or any other circumstances. May nobody be blind to their needs, nor deaf to their cries. In the help and support which others bring to them, may those who suffer know the joy of your ever-present love. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Father, we pray for all who have been affected by the COVID-19 pandemic. We give thanks for the courage and perseverance of all frontline and key workers globally, especially those who have tended the sick. Bless the volunteers and staff of St John Ambulance Cymru in the ongoing response to this emergency and keep them safe from harm. Comfort those whose lives have been broken in any way, especially those who have lost loved ones and livelihoods. We commend to your loving care all who have died, that they may rest in peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Let us sum up our prayers by praying as Jesus taught that the Father's kingdom may come in our lives and through our lives. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Please join us in a minute silence to remember before God members of our most venerable order whose deaths have been notified in the past year.
give you the wisdom to recognize and understand the needs of others. God give you a desire to answer the needs of others. And God give you the strength and the love to serve the needs of others, that in loving and in serving, you may live your lives as his children for the good of others. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed our very first virtual investiture. And I would just like to end by saying some thank yous to people who've helped us to make this happen. The Northern Baptist Association for providing the hymn, the Pendyris Male Choir for the Welsh National Anthem, and Paul Israel for playing the National Anthem. Thank you also to everybody who's contributed to this and also the team behind the scenes who've made it happen. Finally, thank you for your continued support of St John Ambulance Cymru. Please stay safe. <laughs>